Okay, good day mga mentorians o paggabi na. Okay, so, this is the part 2 of our video lectures about police intelligence operation. It's about the person's significant person when it comes to police or military intelligence. I want you to grab your pen and paper and take note all important information na maaring itanong sa inyo this coming board exam. First, mga biblical person ang ating i-discuss because usually tinatanong sa board exam to yung mga nakalipas. There are three biblical characters in relation, very significant when it comes to intelligence operation. First, I want you to remember, Moses. Moses sent 12 agents of Israel to the land of Canaan. Nang sila ay umalis sa Egypt, and then the Lord God promised them a land called Canaan, and He ordered Moses to spy on the land, on the said land. Kaya nagpadala siya ng 12 agents. Next is Rahab. So, Rahab, ang keyword nyo is, she is the harlot of Jericho. She provided information to the 12 agents of Israel. I want you to remember, she is an impromptu spy. Pag sinabi mong impromptu spy, hindi naman siya spy in the first place. But because of relation, close relationship, mutual understanding, unti-unting na-develop siya at naging spy for the agents of Israel. Next, Delilah. But before I discuss, I want you to ask, okay, I want to ask, who is the most dangerous spy? Dangerous spy. The, andale, the answer is woman. Okay? So, bakit? Because of Delilah. She, she used her beauty and charm to get the weakness of a man. Malalaki <laughs> joke. Of their enemy. She provided shelter, shelter also to the Philistine na kalaban ng Israel. But the most important that she accomplished is get the strength Okay? The secrets of the enemy na ginamit laban sa mga Israel. Nakuha ang kahinaan ni Samson. So, let us now proceed to the warlords. Okay. First, Akbar. Akbar is uh, the uh, sagacious master of Hindustan. Okay? Yung na-keyword nyo doon. Okay? So, he deployed around 4,000 agents and he was the sagacious master of Hindustan. Huwag niyong tatanggalin ng E sa Hindustan. Mag-iiba siya ng meaning. <laughs> Next, Genghis Khan. He was the Mongol conquerors. Okay? Uh, just like Sun Tzu na mayroon siyang quote from the Art of War na book. Genghis Khan, ay meron ding famous quote. And I want you to take note of this. Okay? So, ano yung famous quote ni Genghis Khan? Only a fool who fights a battle, he knows he cannot win. Tanga lang ang susuong sa isang labanan kung alam mong talo ka. Kapag talo ka na, huwag ka nang kumapit pa. Okay? Bumitaw ka na. Okay. So, I want you to remember uh, that quote. Okay. Next, Alexander the Great. Remember, he devised the first letter sorting to detect disloyalty within his empire. So, remember that. Okay, punta tayo ngayon. Kay Napoleon Bonaparte. Meron din siyang quote. Okay, I want you to remember it. This, okay. One spy is better than 20,000 men in the field. So, paano nangyari yun? 
physically impossible. Okay. Na yung isa ay manalo against 20,000. But, uh, gusto kong isipin nyo ng ganito. Okay. Kunyari, you are the commander and you ordered your 20,000 men to attack the enemy's camp. Okay, haba kayo papunta ron, your spy doon sa kalaban nag-inform, Sir, huwag kayong sumugod because kalahating milyon ang kalaban nyo dito. Outnumber tayo, Sir. So, hindi mo pinalusob, pinaatras mo. So, because of that spy, kung wala yung spy, wala yung information ng spy, your men will be slaughtered. Imagine you only have 20,000 and then your enemies, human strength or capability is 500,000. It will be slaughtered. Okay? It will be slaughtered. Okay? So, I want you to remember uh, that information. Aside from that, Napoleon Bonaparte established two bureaus. Yung isa, Bureau of Intelligence. It's all about incoming information about enemies' capability to be presented, no, to the emperor. Okay, pinepresenta sa emperor. Eto yung kahinaan, eto yung kalakasan ng kalaban. Okay, pinapakita sa emperor. Next, topographic bureau. Okay, what do you mean by topographic bureau? It is the intelligence about the geographical location of the enemy's territory. May bundok ba yan? May sapa? May ilog? Na pwede nilang uh, taguan? So, karakteristik ng teritoryo ng kalaban. So, next, Hannibal. Sino to si Hannibal? Okay. Hannibal disguised as a beggar to gather a first-hand information. Katulad ni President Duterte, when he was the mayor of Dabao, he disguised as a taxi driver to monitor no, the uh, peace and order sa Dabao. Next, Julius Caesar. I want you to focus on this. There are so much information about him. First, he established the first military intelligence unit na tinatawag na the speculators. So, na naging ah, pattern ng mga modern military intelligence unit natin ngayon. Okay. Next, that he used pigeons to transfer. Okay. Message. Gumamit siya ng hayop. Ano yung hayop na yun? Pigeons o kalapate. Okay. And, I want you to remember that he utilized cyphers. So, ano yung cypher? No, C-I-P-H-E-R. So, cypher is coded message. Mga message na hindi mo agad maint- o hindi mo maintindihan. Okay? So, remember, okay, that, uh, yun, uh, the science of coded message and cypher, it is cryptography. Cryptography came from the Greek word cryptos. Cryptos. What do you mean by cryptos? It means hidden or concealed. Hidden or concealed. Okay. So, yun yung cryptos. Pag sinabi mo na, okay, yung simple message, i-convert mo sa cipher or coded message, that is decoding. Okay. From simple message to okay, uh, coded message. Decoding from cipher or from unintelligible message to make it a intelligible message. No? Ang tawag doon, decoding. Yung isang message na hindi mo maintindihan, e eh, decode mo para maintindihan na lahat. Okay. That is decoding. And I want you to remember... Uh, the difference between crypto analyst and cryptographer. When you say crypto analyst, this is a person expert, no? Expert in decoding. Okay? Expert in decoding. And when you say about cryptographer, kanina crypto analyst, expert in decoding. Cryptographer, he is expert in encoding or coding. 
to make the simple or common message into unintelligible one. That is cryptographer. Okay. So I want you to remember this information. Next, I want you to take note of General Romano Cusertorius. What is so special about him? He possessed a white phone. And he spread a black propaganda that his white phone possessed mystical power to detect betrayal. To detect betrayal. Na itong kanyang white phone daw ay nakakapag-detect ng betrayal. So, please remember that, okay? So, then, I want you to remember this. Alam na alam natin. The father of military, modern military spinach. Very easy, sir. Frederick the Great. Ang tanong, are you aware of the classification of spy by Frederick the Great? Yun lang. Okay. So, yun ang i-discuss natin. Okay. I want you to remember, no, unang classification niya is modern spy. Ah, I'm sorry. Common spy. Okay? So, may nagpa-pop up kasi na nagme-message. Okay? I-exit ko muna yung messenger. So, next is, pag sinabi mong uh, common spy, an ordinary spy okay, na na-hire mo, nakuha mo. Next is, double spy. Parang double agent. Working to you, working to your enemy. Okay? Next, spy of consequence. Ito yung mga spy that there is something in return. There is a consideration sa information na ibibigay nila. Mostly, monetary consideration. Meron sila mga kumpera, that is why sila ay nag-spy. And the last one is spy who have no choice rather than to spy. Okay? Mga spy na napilitan. Spy that who was pressured to become a spy because they don't have any choice. Yun ang huling classification ng spy according to Frederick the Great. So, doon po tayo sa isang pinaka-sikat, Sun Chu, okay? the author of the Articles of War. Pero wag lang kayong okay, makampante na yun lang ang alam nyo. Kasi during the previous board exam, it, this question was asked, Who is this Chinese philosopher? So, ang daming Chinese philosopher, Confucius, Mao Chidong. So, hindi mo alam. Okay? Who rejected the idea that the foreknowledge, okay? So, ganito. Who stated na lang, who stated that foreknowledge, foreknowledge cannot be elicited to gods or spirits. Na ang kaalaman sa pakikipagdigma ay hindi mo makukuha sa Diyos at sa mga Espiritu, kundi makukuha mo ito sa pag-espia. Okay. Yun ay according to Sun Tzu. So, remember uh, that. Okay. Next, I want you to remember Sir Francis Walshingham. So, he protected Queen Elizabeth, protectahan niya, against countless assassin, against countless assassin. Okay. Next, Louis the Fourteenth. Ano yung kay Louis the Fourteenth? He systematized. Okay, he systematized the uh, political system and conducted a continuous surveillance operation. Yun ang kay Louis the Fourteenth. Okay. Next, okay. Remember, ito may uh, pakahaba ng pangalan, no? Carl. Edward uh, Wilhelm Carl Edward Stieber Wilhelm Carl Edward Stieber So ano siya He was the Bismarck master spy Bismarck master spy So punta naman tayo is this agent a homosexual Okay The answer is Alfred Riedel He was an homosexual okay agent no and because of him 500,000 agents were killed 
So remember that, 500,000 Alfred Red L. So take note of that, Alfred Red L, because of him, 500,000 agents were killed. So let us now proceed, no? Tinanong ito, 2018 Criminology Board Exam. Who was the considered as the Napoleon's eye? Napoleon's eye, mata ni Napoleon. Okay? The answer is Carl Stuhlmeister. Carl Stuhlmeister. Do remember that? Carl Stuhlmeister. Okay? So I want you to take note. Carl Stuhlmeister. Next, Joseph Pouch. Okay, Joseph Pouch. Remember now that uh, he was the head of the Bonaparte's internal security. He was the head. Aside from that, by the book, American book, Joseph Pouch is considered as the father of modern police intelligence operation. Modern police intelligence operation. Okay, yan siya, si Joseph Pouch. Herbert Yardley. Okay, Herbert Yardley, remember, okay, he was the head of MI8. Okay, he was the head of MI8. The forerunner of the SIS of British. Okay, so I want you to remember that. Next, Joseph Petrosino. Who is Joseph Petrosino? He was credited to smash the Black Society. What is the Black Society? According to my previous video sa YouTube, a Black Society is an ancient Chinese criminal group. Kung saan nagmula ang mga triads, okay? So I want you to remember that. Next. Brahma Kautilya. Okay? So, what is so special about him? Okay? He established the first Mayurian king utilizing the, okay, what you call that Mayurian system. When you say about Mayurian system, it's a kind of system that you will detect the nations, okay, Uh, vision o yung patutunguhan ng isang bansa no by analyzing the the uh, the head attitudes the heads uh, goal the heads no yung pinakamataas sa kanila kung ano bang obje objective noon dahil yung pinakamataas na tao like the president the king the emperor okay kung malalaman mo yung kanyang attitude Malalaman mo yung kanyang behavior, malalaman mo yung kanyang kagustuhan, goals and objectives, doon papunta ang bansang yon, Okay, or yung nation na yon, That is Mayorian system. Okay, so, next, I want you to remember, okay, Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto. Sino siya? He uh, was the no pinakamataas okay the uh, uh, imperial uh, the head of the imperial japanese fleet okay siya yung admiral of the imperial uh, japanese fleet and because of him maraming mga okay napanalunan ang uh, bansang hapon when it comes to the war okay like for example he was the no the planner siya ang nagplano ng tinatawag natin Pearl Harbor bombings. Okay? But in the past board exam, ito ang tanong, no? Okay, the message is intercepted and his plane crashes to the jungle of Bougainville. Bumagsak ang eroplano niya sa jungle of Bougainville. Okay? Na-intercept ang kanyang message. Ang sagot, Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto. So, baak nung, no, na-intercept ang kanyang message, uh, mga message. Alam niyo guys na no, si Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto is the symbol of Japanese power during his time. Okay? Uh, kaya kinatatakutan ng bansang Hapon. However, 
because of uh, the CIA, that eh, one of the best pang CIA, they were able to intercept, okay, the uh, ciphers, okay, coded message with regards to the root, okay, of the uh, of the uh, admiral's airplane, okay. That is why na decode nila ito. Okay, yung mga expert ng crypto or crypto analyst, okay, na expert, okay, ng uh, Japan, na ng CIA, they were able to decode, okay, the, uh, the ciphers and they were able to learn the plain roots of the Japanese. Ang tawag sa operation na yun, yung tinatawag nating, ah, uh, cryptographic operation of the CIA against Admiral Isoroko Yamamoto is okay, Operation Magic. Operation Magic. Okay, so I want you to remember that. Okay? And so, lastly, I want you to take note the uh, the uh, the father of American intelligence, okay, father um, uh, of American intelligence, okay, is no other than a major general, okay, Donovan. So I want you to remember Donovan. He was the head of the OSS, okay. The head of the OSS, tandaan nyo, OSS is the uh, forerunner of the CIA. The forerunner of the CIA. Okay. So, I want you to remember also, na lumabas din sa exam, yung tinatawag nating, okay, Stasi, the military intelligence of Germany. The Red Gestapo, it was the security uh, service use no by the West Germany against the East Germany okay when they were still divided and tawag doon Red Gestapo okay so uh, another one that you should remember uh, meron tayong tinatawag na top uh, 5 okay of uh, ngayon no as of now top 5 okay the intelligence agency in the world and the Pilipinas malabo Okay, top, uh, uh, top five is yung China, Ministry of State uh, Security, okay, MSS, by uh, China, okay, then followed by the uh, CIA of America, so pang-apat na lang sila, then followed by Secret Intelligence Service of uh, Great Britain or United Kingdom, the SIS, then second is the Mossad of Israel and the first ang uh, nanguna ngayon no is the ISI Inter Service Intelligence of Pakistan why but nanguna ng Pakistan no marami ng taon okay na nagde-deploy ng uh, agents sa Pakistan but none of them were burned wala pa na talagang nababalitaan no, na isang Pakistani agent were arrested and burned. Na burn out yung kanyang identity. And aside from that, Pakistani okay, intelligence agent, sila yung may pinakamarami, over 10,000 10, and least budgeted. Imagine that. Sila may pinaka, doon sa top 5 na yun, sila may pinakakonting budget. But sila may pinakamaraming network. They have 10,000 agent. That is why. No, and the accomplishment that they made, no, giving them the rights, no, to become the number one intelligence, uh, service in the world. Okay? So guys, mamaya ulit for our part three. Thank you and God bless.